The next team we're going to talk about is the Miami Dolphins. There has been no rumors that they're going to move on from Tua. So the Miami Dolphins going into this offseason, they have cap space, they have draft capital, and they have what they hope to be their franchise quarterback in Tua Tagovailoa. I'll go first in terms of what I think the Dolphins should do in the draft, and then you can you know piggyback on that. I think you build around Tua. I don't think the Dolphins are going to trade for Deshaun Watson, at least at this moment. There has been no real reports or real traction of that happening. And because of that, I think the Dolphins stick with Tua. And the wide receiver that plays to Tua's strengths the most is Devontae Smith because he can create separation. And Tua has shown an ability not to throw the not to throw the football at receivers who are kind of in 50-50 situations. He has to see you be wide open, and that's when he's going to make the throw. I think Devontae Smith is the perfect guy for that, even though I think Jamar Chase might have the edge over him in terms of who's better. I think for the Miami Dolphins system and to fit Tua, Devontae Smith is the pick to go. And the Dolphins need a guard, kind of like the Jets. They need a guard. Wyatt Davis is out there. Elijah Vera Tucker is out there. And I also think that the Dolphins, if they want to complement and get another tackle in the building, they should look at Rashawn Slater long and hard because Rashawn Slater, he's a guy who's getting slept on and Pina Sewell is like the the gem of this draft, but Rashawn Slater is not that far off from him. So I think that's what the Dolphins should do in this draft. You draft Devontae Smith and you get some depth at the on the offensive line with your later pick. Yeah, starting with – I'll start with the Deshaun Watson talk. I will say things that you say can change at any time in the NFL, and we've heard it time and time again. You know, the Giants said that they didn't re-sign Odell Beckham just to trade him, and then they traded him. The Cardinals said Josh Rosen was their guy, and then a month later they went out and drafted Kyler Murray, so on and so forth. I will say what the Dolphins said about Tua Tagovailoa, I believe the quote was something along the lines of, he is our starting quarterback. It was pretty assertive that he was going to be their guy. It wasn't a, a, you know, try and walk around the question type quote where they were saying, well, he's our starting quarterback today. They were saying he's our starting quarterback. He's our future. And I feel like they really do believe in him, despite what their actions may have shown this offseason or this last season. So I think he's going to be their guy moving forward. And I think they're going to look to build around him, which I don't think is a bad decision because they can improve that offense this offseason. And it would start with the third overall pick. And that could go two ways. You could either take Panay Sewell, who is supposedly a generational talent, at the tackle position, and you could shore up that offensive line for Tua Tagovailoa, or you can go out and get a receiver. I agree with you. I would take Devonta Smith. I think he's the perfect receiver for Tua Tagovailoa. I feel like his playmaking ability, his ability to move after the catch and gain yards after the catch, and then also his ability to make tough catches in traffic guarded tightly He is the perfect all-around type receiver for Tua Tagovailoa, and I feel like he would be the selection at number two overall. That offense is really what needs work. I would also think about re-signing a guy like Ryan Fitzpatrick just in case. You know, look what happened this past year with Tua Tagovailoa. We didn't think that after he started, he would be coming off the field, but you know, maybe we go into the season and Tua isn't what they expect him to be. They're going to need that backup quarterback. So I feel like bringing Ryan Fitzpatrick in, the continuity and the leadership that he brings would be a smart decision. And then also their money, I think they should look at targeting one of those big three wide receivers, like I mentioned for the Jets. Allen Robinson, Chris Godwin, and Kenny Galladay, three great free agent or free agent wide receivers. If they could bring in one of those guys, along with Devonta Smith, Add in Devontae Parker, add in Mike Isecki at tight end, a potential running back that they could bring in. That offense would be loaded. You're surrounding Tua Tagovailoa with weapons, and I feel like that's what needs to happen, especially on the offensive side of the ball. When you look at their upcoming free agents, I really don't think they need to bring that many of them back. I think they did a great job last offseason with their money and their picks setting themselves up for this year. And I think they're in a really good position, but I think offense is the side of the ball that they really need to look at. Their defense was so good last year. If you could add weapons like an Allen Robinson and a Devonta Smith 
with Tua Tagovailoa, you're looking at a team that won 11 games last year. What could they be this year at adding those weapons to that offense? You know, for me, I think the Dolphins, they have some free agents that they should bring back. Like Kruger Hill, I think you should bring him back. Um, if you're not going to sign a guy like Devondre Campbell, because the Dolphins need more linebackers that can cover. And I think Devondre Campbell would be a huge addition. But for me, you bring back Fitz just to have a backup quarterback. Matt Breida, he's probably gone. But Ted Carr is the center they signed last season that came from the Patriots. You have to bring him back. I think Ted Carr's did an excellent job with the Dolphins at the time he was there. And he has shown to be a great locker room presence. For me in free agency, I think the Dolphins should address the running back position and they should get another edge rusher. For me, if I'm the Dolphins because of their cap space and because Tua is on a rookie quarterback, I would look at Aaron Jones. I think Aaron Jones in Miami, they fit really well. We know that Chan Gailey is out. I think the Dolphins are going to have co-coordinators in uh, Eric Studsfell and George Godsey. So I would go with Aaron Jones and have a number one back and then have uh, – What's the guy's name from the Dolphins I was a running back this past season, the receiving back? I forgot his name. Matt Breida? Nah, it was or, another. Um, I had him on my fantasy Miles team. Miles Gaskin? Miles Gaskin, exactly. Or Miles Gaskin, he's huge. So he's a good receiving back. So if you can get Aaron Jones to be that every down back and just have Miles Gaskin come in every now and then, that would be a huge compliment. But for me, I think the free agents they should target is our running back. Of course, guard Joe Thuney or Brandon Sheriff, and at safety. I think they can upgrade at safety. I'd bring in Jaquiski Tart to fill in that safety position. The 49ers don't have a lot of money, and they have a bunch of free agents, so I think Jaquiski Tart is a guy who's really low on the list to, of guys to bring back, and the Dolphins should upgrade that secondary. Even though the Dolphins' defense was good this past season in terms of points allowed, they gave up a lot of yards which means that teams just didn't capitalize on their opportunities. And how many seasons, is, is it, how many seasons realistically, is Xavier Howard going to have 10, plus, 10 interceptions? Probably not many. This was probably an outlier year. They can't just rely on turnovers in terms of stopping offenses. They have to not allow many yards, and that's something they have to work at. So I think their secondary is fine but they need to bring in another edge rusher, another linebacker, and I think upgrade at secondary at the safety position as well. Yeah, and you mentioned edge rusher. I think in, I think that that's a position they could target in the draft potentially. A guy like Jalen Phillips out of Miami, perfect fit coming from Miami to Miami. He's a guy I thought about for the Jets, but he he's possesses some great talent at that edge rusher position. I agree. I think they should look at guard, and not only guard but center. A guy they could target there is John Feliciano, a very talented center, and, and just shore up that offensive He's line. He's a guard. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought that he played the center position last year. That's Mitch Morse. Yeah. John My Feliciano mistake. is guard, yeah. But I, I think they, they should build up that offensive line in free agency and get a wide receiver in free agency, but then also add a wide receiver. Or if they wanted to go Panay Sewell with that third overall pick, I feel like they can't go wrong either way. But I think that Sewell or Devontae Smith should be the pick at three and then build the offensive line and the wide receivers through free agency. So for me, if they don't get a running back in free agency, of course, they should look at getting Najee Harris and having that Alabama reunion between Devontae Smith, Najee Harris, and Tua. Or maybe getting a guy like Chuba Hubbard, Travis Etienne. These are all guys, Javante Williams out of North Carolina. These are all guys they should target. But obviously, this season, this offseason is about building around Tua, getting Tua a number one wide receiver or just a receiver to complement Devontae Parker. I don't think they, they need to get two receivers because I actually like Jakeem Grant. He's a good speedy slot receiver for them. I would just look at getting Devontae Smith and maybe signing signing another guy. But I think with Devontae Smith, Devontae Parker, Mike Gesicki, and Jakeem Grant, they will be a formidable team. Also, if they get a good running back, they'll be a very good team. So I don't think they have to do too much and go crazy because I think they're already a really good team. Yeah, they put themselves in a good position last year to be set up for this season. Um 
the running back position is another one you mentioned. I think that they are a team that's in a position they could splurge for a guy like Aaron Jones to help out a quarterback into a tag of Ilo that we saw last year. Brian Flores seemed a little timid with him. So if you could bring in an elite running back talent, like I would call Aaron Jones at least near that elite tier of running backs in the league. So if you could bring in a great talent like that at running back to help make Tua's life easier and surround him with those weapons, I feel like it would help his development a lot coming into the season. Another name on the offensive line, Corey Lindsley, who did a great job with the Packers. I feel like he could be a nice addition and the Packers aren't in the best cap situation. So he could be a guy who, who ends up cutting ties with the Packers just due to money. So another name that they could target for that offensive line, but that, that I, I feel like everything starts with the offensive side of the ball this offseason for the Dolphins.